in this video we are going to be unboxing and reviewing the $220 electric skateboard, the High Boy S11. At such an incredibly low price point, I'm really impressed that electric skateboards have gotten this cheap, so this is going to be a great option for any of you guys looking for your first board. So when you get the High Boy, you're going to have this box, which is a moderately sized box with their custom decals on it. At such a low price point, I'm really impressed with the amount of details they've put into the aesthetics of all the packaging, so props to them on that. So the board is evidently the biggest thing that you're going to get in the box, and this is what it looks like. The deck is this odd shape. It's kind of a mini cruiser deck with a small kicktail on the back. It's a mono hub motor board, and you can see that enclosure on the bottom. The grip tape pattern isn't my favorite. They have this massive arrow pointing forward to signify the rider which way the front direction is, which is already pretty obvious just by the shape of the deck. But for any of you newbies, that's the point of the arrow, I think, is to let you know which way is forward on the deck. Straight out of the box, the board looks absolutely pristine and super clean. The cable management is impeccable. The enclosure fits nice and plushly with the deck. The power switch, the indicator, everything just aligns perfectly, and I was super impressed by it. The board is a mono hub motor, just like we said, and it's fit inside this rear wheel at 70 millimeters, and it provides 350 watts of power, which is a decent amount for this size board. The front wheels are 70 millimeter wheels as well and they're these urethane wheels. In my testing of them, they didn't seem too hard, not too soft. They were just kind of meh Chinese wheels. The ultra compact deck is only 29 inches and features a rear kicktail for easy pivoting. The enclosure on the bottom houses a 100 watt hour battery that's 25 volts or 6S voltage. There's a small power switch on the side which illuminates blue to signify that the board is on. I absolutely love this power switch. I think it's a super simple design. And immediately after turning the switch on, you'll actually get this indicator on the other side that tells you how much battery you have, which is a neat feature. It also has a roll to start feature, which means as soon as you roll the board, it'll automatically turn on. So you don't need to turn it on manually. As I was saying, everything looks super clean on the bottom. That mono hub motor cable just goes cleanly into the enclosure, sits nice and fleshly with the deck, and everything looks perfect. Although I do think that the enclosure on the bottom side does look a little bit bulky, I still don't think it looks bad, and at the price point, I think it's completely understandable. The battery is 100.8 watt hours, which puts it right on that threshold of being airline friendly and not airline friendly. I'm personally not entirely sure. The S11 features this remote, which is used on a lot of the other Chinese boards. I think that it works perfectly for this application, and I personally have no problems with it. It has four speed modes, it's super easy to use, and very intuitive, and it fits very nicely in the hand. Aside from the remote controller, there's a couple other things that you're going to get. There's the charger. First off, there's also a T-Tool which comes standard, and then there's also an instruction manual for the High Boy. The charger is just like all the other ones out there, it has a 2.1mm DC jack charging port. Just plug the two pieces together and then the outlet side goes into the wall and then the charging port goes into the board. It's also super nice, they included a T-Tool. And then finally the charger is a micro USB cable which is standard with most of these remote controllers. They also have a really nice instruction manual which is important to take a look before you start riding. Now we are going to take a look at the performance of this board in the context of its purpose. Because the board's only 29 inches long, the stance on this board is much like that of a traditional skateboard or a much smaller cruiser board. We actually found it a little bit difficult to get our bearings right before actually riding the board. The fact that there are four riding modes makes it super easy for beginners to get the hang of the board before actually kicking it into a higher gear. Plus, the acceleration on this thing isn't that crazy from the get-go, even in the highest mode. My personal favorite feature about the board is how easy it is to carry. It's just so nice to have a light board. The advertised top speed on the S11 is 13 miles an hour, and we got right around that. Of course, this has to be on absolutely flat ground. If you have any incline whatsoever, the board will not reach that speed or even close to it because the torque is not good. 13 miles an hour is the perfect speed for a board this size. Whether you're buying it for your kid or for someone who's just getting into electric skateboards, that's a good top speed, that way you can't get hurt on this board. For anyone looking for a board that can climb any hill whatsoever, this is not the board for you. When I say that it can't climb any hills at all, I literally mean any hills. We put it on the slightest inclines and the board doesn't even manage to go up or start. It has absolutely awful torque, but it's really made for flat ground riding. So if you're just going to be riding on flat areas, parking lots, it's perfect. But on hills, it doesn't even make it up these very slight inclines. The range on High Boy's website is advertised to be 6.2 miles in ideal conditions. I'd say that realistically, you're going to get around 3.5 to 5 miles, depending on the rider's weight. Overall, the ride feeling of the board isn't terrible. At such a low price point, you really can't consider the ride feeling. It's literally just an electric skateboard made to actually run. It is the bare minimum you can do to get a board running. So I think that the ride feeling is something that you can really kind of neglect. You just want a board that moves if you're buying this. There is a little bit of kicktail on the rear, which I have to say can be useful if you're into using a kicktail. It can be very useful for pivoting, 
jumping that nose over any small cracks, especially with the small wheels. So I will say it's a nice addition to have on a short board like this or any electric skateboard for that matter. So here's where we are. For $220, you get a board that can go 13 miles an hour top speed. It has a range of up to 6.2 miles and it can go on flat ground, but not on any hills. So is this thing worth the money? And I have to say, absolutely yes. For only $220, you're gonna get yourself a great beginner board or a great gift for any kids that you wanna get into electric skateboarding. Especially for that weight limit on those kids, the board's gonna get so much better performance. We're around 140 pounds, the board max is 180, but if you had a kid weighing 60, 70, 80 pounds, this board would be loads of fun for them, especially as they're not used to those high speeds that we are. Additionally, even if you're an adult, this board can be a ton of fun. If you're looking for a board that you can just get into as a little hobby, this is definitely gonna be a great option. You can just goof around on it in the parking lot, just cruise around at low speed. You could even do a small commute if you wanted to. This is never gonna be that insanely powerful electric skateboard that a lot of other companies build, but it sure is a really great budget option for anyone just looking to get that electric skateboard feeling and ride a skateboard without actually having to push. It's absolutely mind boggling to me that High Boy were able to come up with a product at such a low price point that actually functions as an electric skateboard. So I have to say I 100% approve this product. Don't get this if you're really looking to get an actual good electric skateboard. This is really only that entry level skateboard if you're just looking to get into it. So for all of you beginner e-skaters, those with kids, even kids watching this video, this is a super great option if you're looking to buy an electric skateboard on a budget. We'll have a link down in the description below where you can buy the High Boy S11 electric skateboard. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave us a like and let us know what you think of the High Boy S11. Also make sure to subscribe to our channel for lots of awesome DIY electric skateboard and electric skateboard content. We have a couple more board reviews coming up later this month with some big name boards that I'm sure you guys are gonna be very happy to see. So subscribe to see those. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.